Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marianne and this is The Minimalistic Budget. I'm on the journey to become student loan and consumer debt free. So if you'd like to follow along, just keep on watching. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I know I haven't been doing any cash stuffings for the past week or any of the budget with me. I've been pretty busy with the upcoming launch and I'm also trying to film a vlog for you guys with me setting up my inventory and also organizing my little office. It's not really an office because I work in the basement and that's where I also sleep, but um, we will get straight into it. We're gonna do our little cash count. Perfect, so we have 325 that we're going to be cash stuffing today. And in case you're wondering, I do have quite a few fives. I didn't want to wait in line for the uh, teller and my bank only offers fives and not tens. So we are going to be cash stuffing all of this today. So we're gonna start with my wallet first. And I do have some receipts here that I need to scan. If you're Canadian, you can use an app called Receipt Jar. If you scan your receipts, you get points. And with the points, you can redeem them for gift cards. I do have a referral code down below and up on the screen here. If you use my code, you get 200 points and I get 200 points. So it's a win-win. So I'll be scanning these later. I also do have some coins here that I need to put into my little coin jar. And in case you're new here, I do like to separate my loonies and toonies because I like to use them for the 100 envelope challenge and the rest will go inside the coin jar. So now I'm just going to be cash stuffing my little dividers and we did do a grocery run a couple days ago so I'm not going to be cash stuffing a lot for groceries. This is just um, if we need to stock up on some meat or any other items. So groceries is just getting 50 for the week, for the rest of the week. Gas still has 80, so I'm just gonna be rolling that over. Eating out is gonna be skipped. We did eat out last week, so I'm just gonna be skipping that for this week. Household is getting 20. We don't really need to stock up on any items, but this is just in case. Spending, I'm also gonna be skipping that. I'm trying to limit spending. Miscellaneous is getting 20. So that's that for my little dividers. And someone commented in my video asking what my envelope categories are for. So I'm going to be going through that in this video as well. So we're going to start with my high priority binder. So Amazon is getting $5. Amazon is, this envelope is going towards my yearly membership. I am paying monthly right now, but you do save $20 for the yearly membership so i'm trying to save up for that 25 30 in amazon and i believe it's 119 for the yearly membership business taxes is online car maintenance is getting car maintenance is getting 15. so this is for things like oil changes tire changes etc 50 70 95 1 5 10 in car maintenance Dental is also getting 15. I need to get my wisdom teeth removed. I did get my, sorry, did I add 15 there? So I did get my, is it my top wisdom teeth? I did get the top two removed and I just need to get the two, bottom two removed. They're not really bothering me as of yet, but I'm gonna have to get them removed eventually. 150, 70, 85, 95, 200 in dental. Emergency fund, we're not going to be stuffing this pay. I do have a good amount in there as well. So my mom's envelope is getting 15. And this money is going towards when they reach old age. So we have 120, 35, 45, 50. So 150. Month ahead is getting $30. Oops. Oops. 
So we have 150, 220, 40, 60, 80, 95, 300 and month ahead. And the month ahead envelope is going towards my bills. I do want to be a month ahead eventually. Over budget is not getting stuffed because I did go over budget a couple times last week and this will not tempt me to use it. <laughs> my dad's envelope is also getting 15 same thing this is for when he reaches old age so we have 50 70 90 110 30 5 45 50 so 150 in my dad's envelope as well and vision is getting five dollars and this is going towards my yearly supply of contact lenses 20 45 50. i did just buy them not too long ago so this will be for next year so that's that for my high priority binder. Next for my low priority binder. So Black Friday, I do want to take advantage of the sales. So I'm going to be stuffing $10. So for Black Friday, we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 85, 90. Did I count that right? 51, 20, 40, 60, 85, 90. So 190 in Black Friday. These are really dinky fives. I don't like it. Gifts is getting $10. 50, 70, 85, 90. Skin is getting $10. 50, 60, 70, 80. 590 and skin hair is getting five dollars as well so we have 20 40 55 60 i really hope i'm counting this right because in my head it doesn't it's not adding up nails is going to get 15 and I wanted to give my nails a break because I've been getting them done nonstop. So 10, 15, 25 in nails. I'll get them done again eventually, but right now I'll just give them a break. Special events is getting $10. 20, 40, 65, 70. Supplements is getting $10. So now there's 30 in supplements. Planning is getting 15. So this is going towards my new planner for the upcoming year. 20, 40, 5, 55. Future is getting $10. So I got this envelope idea from the fancy dollar. Hi, Katie. She has an envelope called Future Hubby and Future Baby. So this envelope is kind of like a take for those two categories. And this is like just a small little startup fund. So 20, 30, 40, 55, 65. Because I know weddings and having a baby, they are pretty expensive. So these are my paid off credit cards. So if I do want to end up using them, I can just set aside money to pay them off right away. And Presto is my transportation card, which I haven't really been using a lot, but this is just in case. Anniversary, we're going to be skipping. So then the last binder is going to be my holidays. We're not going to be stuffing all of these holidays because it's pretty far down the line. I don't expect to fill out all of these icons for each holiday because it's just too much. I don't really need $500 for each holiday except for Christmas. I do want to use this for gifts and also if you want to do any fun winter activities for Christmas, it's going towards that. So for Christmas, it's getting... I don't know I have an extra 20, but Christmas is supposed to get 30. Let me just check my binders. I'll be right back. I'm not supposed to stuff $10 towards Black Friday. It's supposed to be getting 20. So we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. So 200 for Black Friday. So then the last $30 is going towards my Christmas fund. I really wanted to fill out these last three icons here because each icon is $10. So now we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 30, 50, 70, 90, 210, 30, 50, 70, 80, 95, 300. So $300. And now I just have 200 left 
for my Christmas fund that I need to save up. And that's that for my holiday binder. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this short but sweet cash stuffing video. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of the week and a lovely weekend, whichever time you're seeing this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell to be notified of new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Be the